Hello and welcome to an installation video of the Dura Pro Fill Closed Fill System by Dura Products for the Z-Spray Ride-On Turf Sprayer. It's important to note that before we begin, we'll be installing the Z-Spray Accessory Kit on an intermediate machine which goes hand in hand with the Z-Max. The tools required for your Z-Spray Assembly Kit are as shown. In your Z-Spray Accessory Kit, you should find the following as shown. We'll begin with assembly of the DuraPro fill. Take a poly nipple, apply thread sealant compound, and attach it to the male dry brake poppet. Attach the nipple to the T, then attach the nipple to the 90 degree elbow. Take the last poly nipples with sealant and attach it to the opposite sides of both the 90 degree elbow and poly T. Grab your 7 16 combination wrench and begin to loosen the nuts on the ball valve. Once both nuts and washers have been removed, add your valve bracket. Once added, place the standard nuts and washers back on and tighten. Repeat the same step, but for the second ball valve. Add thread sealant to the poly nipple attached to the poly T and screw on the left side bolted ball valve. Repeat this same step, but for the poly nipple attached to the 90 degree elbow. Apply thread sealant compound to the poly nipple attached to the male dry brake poppet. Grab your poppet support bracket and FPT lock nut. Make sure that your FPT lock nut cutout side faces the plumbing, then proceed to screw on as shown. Take your large groove joint pliers and tighten the FPT lock nut. Take your quarter inch by one inch screws with washers and place them through the valve brackets. Grab your combination wrenches and tighten the four hex bolt screws and nuts. Grab both your one inch three quarter poly 90 degree hose barbs and apply the sealant. Grab your adjustable wrench and make about a three quarter turn after they're hand tight. It's important that your hose barb on the right points to the right and the one on the left is tilted down. Now that your assembly is complete, you're ready for the Z-Spray installation. Grab your half inch combination wrenches and unscrew the 5 16 bolt on the metal bracket. Place your poppet support bracket against the metal bracket and hand tighten your screws. Grab your 5 16 hex bolt and 2 x 2 inch washer and the sequence should be hex bolt washer, metal bracket, 2 x 2 inch washer, then the flat washer and finally the lock nut. Tighten with your combination wrench first, then follow with the bolts on the metal bracket. For the Z-Spray supply tanks, drill in a 1 inch diameter hole in both supply tanks so that both float valves can go inside. Make sure that your float valve is positioned to the side so that it's not rubbing against anything inside the tank. Proceed to tighten the valve down with the nut while holding the valve in position. After applying thread sealant compound, grab another 90 degree poly elbow and add it to the float valve. Notice that the float valve may move, so hold onto the valve when screwing on the 90 degree poly elbow. Add thread sealant compound to the 3 quarter inch hose barb and screw onto the 90 degree elbow. The left sided hose will need to be cut at approximately 35 inches and the right sided hose at approximately 56 inches. The hoses will need to be cut longer for the Z-Spray Max. You can route the hoses on the machine then cut them to length before attaching them to the hose barbs. When adding the hose on the left sided supply tank, keep a lookout for any moving parts or hot surfaces that can damage the hose. Add your hose clamps and spray a liquid for easy hose slide on. The hose on the right side supply tank can be run behind the hopper, then screw on the hose clamps. Lastly, replace your Z-Spray factory lids with the new lids for a two-way airflow. Congratulations, you're finally done and ready to be a pro with the Dura Pro Fill. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new Dura Pro Fill Closed Fill System from Dura Products.